there is real opportunity for Asia to rise as a, a region of the world uh, that is in the forefront uh, in terms of prosperity, uh, science, technology, uh, elimination of extreme poverty, illiteracy, in terms of restoring and that severely damaged environment, our rivers, forests, the seas, all of that. But uh, the reality also is that uh, Asia is profoundly divided. Just look at uh, the relationship between Japan, China and the Republic of Korea. The three economic uh, superpowers of the region. If they were to be able to overcome the uh, suffering and legacy of World War II, of Korean uh, Japanese occupation of Korea, uh, then the three major economies, they could, together with India, uh, really lift Asia out of uh, poverty. Uh, and uh, we could think about, imagine, the 21st century, the Asia century. But that probably is a pipe dream. Uh, and we look, you know, we have to be uh, honest and frank, you know, India, it possessed nuclear weapons where the weapons are targeted at, not at Europe, not at the United States, it target at its neighbor, brother, cousin, Pakistan. And where are the Pakistani nuclear weapons targeted? not at Russia, not at uh, China or United States, it target at India. Uh, then we have a almost insurmountable um, border, um, land border, uh, maritime border disputes. We have a almost insurmountable ethnic and religious uh, conflicts, tensions. Uh, so long before Asia as a whole can dream of becoming uh, that, you know, this is the Asia century. We have to get over uh, issues like uh, uh, Stone Age beliefs that still pervasive in parts of Pakistan, Afghanistan, even India. In Pakistan and India, where, in uh, Afghanistan, where we hear most about uh, the attempts by radical uh, religious groups at negating the dignity of uh, half of the population, women. Uh, we know the specific instances that happen time and again. These are not only the ones issues that appear in the media. The many tens of thousands of women who are abused in Afghanistan, in Pakistan. Uh, then in India, you have the caste system. You know, how on this 21st century, uh, there can be a group of people that in, in, the, in English we call untouchables that are on the margins of the society. So we have uh, to deal with all of that, overcome that, before a region can say this is a very civilized region. We are the powers of the 21st century because power is not only possessing uh, standing armies, nuclear weapons, and industries. You have to be a power in philosophy, in humanities, uh, in uh, uh, technical and scientific innovation that uh, has to come uh, as a holistic, integrated uh, approach. You have to free all human beings, you know, uh, so, <laughs> Uh, it is, uh, that's why I'm a bit s skeptical and uh, when I hear some academics in Asia talk about the rising Asia, well, uh, you know, uh, I would prefer to think that yes, there is a chance uh, because the resources are there, liquidity is there, know-how, uh, technology is there vast pool of people, brain power, but uh, 
uh, there has to be leaders with vision uh, in Asia uh, that can come together and uh, charter a roadmap for Asia, uh, a 20, 30 year roadmap. Uh, but uh, to do that, we do have uh, to resolve some practical <laughs> issues of uh, agreeing on how to settle the South China Sea uh, uh, dispute. And uh, because that will always interfere with any attempt at Japan, China, uh, Republic of Korea working uh, together.